There you go, you found it. And we're going to start a new picture. So up in the corner, there's a plus sign. Click on the plus sign. If your format isn't correct, you can click on the format. It'll make it vertical or horizontal. We're going to choose horizontal today. So once you find horizontal, hit the word create. It'll bring you to a page that looks like this. Now, there's a couple of things that we need to do right away. First, we're going to import our picture. So up in the right hand corner, you'll see the little picture symbol. And we're going to grab an animal picture for this project. I'm going to increase it. That looks good. I'll leave it right there and accept it. Now I need to change my brush. So down below we have a color, a paint palette right here. And for the first color that you're going to choose, please choose black. Then there's a paintbrush and an eraser and a little swooshy sign. <laughs> Click on the swoosh. And we're going to create the brush that we want here. So go ahead and choose one and hit edit. Now there's a lot of different choices up here, but I want you to find the shape that looks like this. We're going to slide our bar to the right for most of these. So number si of sides to the right, number of intensity to the right, angles to the right, spacing, ooh, let's go all the way to the left, and scatter we can go to the left as well. So most of them are to the right, but spacing and scatter We'll stick to the left. The next thing that we have to do is get the right point value for it. So down here I can make it really big or I can make it really small. And we're going to go down to a size 10. Perfect. Uh-oh, my color for some reason changed to orange again. I need black. Okay, now this is the fun part. We're going to start drawing on top of our picture. But in order to do that, we need to go to layers. Layers is down at the bottom right. If you click on that, you're going to see two different boxes. If there isn't two different boxes, hit the plus sign. Now there's three. If, let's just hit the plus sign. We'll go open up a new layer. So we want that new layer, the number three, or the top layer, to be shadowed in with blue. Now I'm going to increase my image. It's not perfect, it's a little blurry, but we're okay. Now I'm gonna take my finger and start drawing on top. Ooh, I think it switched my brush on me. Okay, so I'm going to start drawing on top. Now, any time that you're drawing, you want to go nice and slow. You want to take breaks every once in a while so that you break up your drawing. So I'm going right along the edge. Now, I even want to go into that beak. So I can go smaller than 10. You just usually are not going to go bigger than 10 as you're drawing. So now I'm going in here and making some of the details. I think I like that size a little bit better for my eye. So I'm going to go back into erase, increase this, and I'm going to get rid of some of that eye that I made before. Go back to brush and draw in exactly the shape that I want. When I pull back, now I need to get that same size again. So 10 is my go-to size. You can always go back to 10. I'm going to continue to make lines around my object. 
Uh-oh, I made a mistake. Well, if it's just a short bit like that, I can either erase it using the eraser bar, or I can just hit that swirly loop down on the right-hand side. That undo, undoes it. Undo. If I want to redo, I hit the other swirl. You're going to continue to outline your